a traveler. <laughs> I'm sitting very weirdly because if I do this, <laughs> it's like a horror movie. So I'm just going to be like... I'm just going to hide back there. Hello. Execute order 66. Execute order 66. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. That's Lily K. Oh, sorry. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> what did you watch since we last yeah, talked? Watch. I feel like I watched a bunch of things since we last spoke, but like since we last oh. did it properly, like this. Mm. I say properly, like the other time when we do it isn't properly, but you know what I mean. I know, I know. Um, Tell me. I watched Woman Talking. Yes. For that in yes. the cinema. Uh, it was like, it was a, it was, it was just on. It was like one showing and I found it and I went, I will go to that. And it was like, like 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning. And I really liked it. It was a really, really good movie. I do think that it probably should have been a, like some of the the women should have been nominated <laughs> best actress because they were fucking phenomenal. Mm-hmm. It was it was a, a genuine deep dive into the conversation around gender and power and um, sexual exploitation and all that sort of stuff mm-hmm. uh, in a way that I was like very impressed by. It's not funny. But there are moments of levity in it, in that way that when you talk about something that is traumatic, sometimes you make jokes about it, right? That kind of thing. And that took me by surprise, but I was very grateful for it because otherwise I think it would have been a very dreary movie. But yeah, that was a good one. And then I also watched After Sun, Mm -hmm. which didn't get me, I think, as much as many other people seem to, because I've heard a lot of people who went to see it and they were like, oh, I was sobbing by the end of it. Didn't do that for me, but... Mm -hmm. That's not to say it was bad. Um, I just think, don't think I was the right audience for it to hit in the way that it did for other people. I really liked it, though. It's a beautiful, sort of quiet sort of story. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and Paul Mascal is brilliant in it. I can see why he was definitely nominated. I was just, I was, I was just watching Legion because I never finished the third season and I decided this morning, totally out of the blue, I just thought I'd stick it on. But I, yeah, I want to give the, the third season a go and see how it ends. Because I wasn't mm-hmm. entirely sure what the decision they made with our uh, main character mm. um, in the second season. But I'm 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 giving it a chance, as I always say. Obviously, I've been watching the things that come out weekly. Ted Lasso is back. Mandalorian. Uh, Succession started again on Sunday. That was very good. I finished Shrinking, which I loved as well. Yeah, it's just stuff. Okay, you've been watching stuff. I've been watching stuff. I know it's really weird, right? <laughs> Good. Uh, I've been to the cinema a lot, actually, mm. the past month, which was weird because I spent an entire month not going. So, Well, you're making up for lost time, that's all. Yes, yes, uh, basically. I watched Shazam. Oh, uh, yes, I have not got a chance to see that yet. Uh, and I really liked it. I don't know what people have a problem with when it comes to it it was fun it was you know the good old time like the first one was so i had a good time with it that's mm. it it was just a fun little movie and helen Mirren and lucy Liu is obviously fucking great and mm-hmm. as one would expect yeah. <laughs> so yeah i was very happy with it i had a lot of laughs there's one particular scene that i lost it like i couldn't stop laughing for a good like two minutes <laughs> afterwards <laughs> and i honestly can't wait to to see it again uh so yeah i liked it uh i watched 65 which we both watched oh that's true we didn't do the episode on it because we honestly silently... <laughs> <laughs> we silently agreed it was one of my well it was i think it was my top three most anticipated movies for this year mm. so i was a bit disappointed yeah yeah i think we came to the same conclusion that the we last did. like half an hour to 15 minutes was excellent but also but that was... should have been the entire movie <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah it was there they it was there should have just... right at the end it should have been the whole movie yeah i mean yeah uh, i wrote an entire article uh, about it so if you want to read it Maybe we're gonna put it in the in the description, and you can read what I told. But I was I was a tiny, a tad bit uh, disappointed. I wrote it with Candice, uh, 
she liked it a lot more than I did. So <laughs> you're gonna yeah, see I, I both like sides. Maybe, maybe I didn't like you know set you up in the best way for it. <laughs> I I think it was a good thing that you warned me. Mm. Uh, you know, it might not be as good as I hoped it would. Yeah. So I it's it's it lessened the disappointment factor <laughs> basically. Uh, uh, you know. Anyway, that was like a hit and miss kind of thing. Uh, Swing and a miss. Sorry, that is such a specific reference to something from my childhood. <laughs> I could not tell you specifically what it was. It was like a weird video game of like these like kids' toys. I can't remember what they're called. And it was like a whole like construction thing. Um, and there was a bit in it where you could like you basically use a, a wrecking ball to like knock down buildings. And if you swung the the wrecking ball and it didn't hit the building, it would go, it's a swing and a miss. <laughs> and it's just in there. And I reference it sometimes. And I'm like, nobody knows what that's from. I don't even know what that's from. I don't either. But uh, yeah. Okay. It was like one of those like games that you would like as a kid download off the internet. Mm -hmm. And it always seemed a bit iffy, but like it did work. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. That's all that matters, you know. I, I, I remember playing a game, and I don't think anyone knew about it. Mm. Uh, it was, uh, it was saving the sheriff, I think. Saving and you were with sheriff. a with a little piggy, the sheriff's pig, and the pig had to go and save the sheriff, and it was <laughs> so cute. It was the cutest freaking thing, and that's all I remember. And I remember that it was very hard to do it. Uh. I feel like that's the way with a lot of games when you're a kid, though, because you start playing it and you're like, um, this is impossible. And then suddenly you come back years later and it's like, oh, actually, this was very easy. I was a child. <laughs> uh, it's uh, kind of true. But like, you know, saving the sheriff is, is one of the examples. But the other one, because I was like, yeah, I remember, like, I don't remember correctly, is the Lion King game uh, that was like this. The, the one that they did a lot on... Um... The, in the old days of 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 virtual replay, yeah, 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 yeah. That oh, even like because I went back to it because I remembered that I loved that game, mm. and I, I it was still hard. Yeah, no, some of them are genuinely just very hard, but like I think it's those adventure games that I'm thinking of mostly, where they like put a bunch of puzzles in front of you, and my little like seven year old mm. brain just couldn't couldn't do them. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, yes, so. Video game, just a little rent. <laughs> this is I know. I watched uh, the fantastic John Wick chapter four. So fucking good. Easily the best chapter of the John Wick uh, series. Just not non-stop action because that's not true. Uh, but uh, the action got better and bigger uh, both ways. Uh, I mean, they got Don Yen and Hiroyuki Sanada. So you know two greats uh, joined in and oh, they were fucking great. Bill Skarsgård as, as the bad guy is just... Uh, Bill Skarsgård knows how to do a bad guy very well. Beautiful, beautiful choice. I love Keanu Reeves so much. Uh, he, all, all the work he put into these movies and uh, I, I think there are already videos uh, floating on YouTube and everywhere where where it's it's, you know, him training Mm. Uh, for the movie, they are just like, oh god! Like he's he's turning sixty, I believe. I know the man uh, is fit as anything. It's like, oh my god! Like <laughs> I watched an interview with Lawrence Fishburne uh, about it, and he was just blown away by Keanu and and how he he still does this. He's like he still got it. <laughs> I oh my god! And and he you know it it gives me so much. Not, I'm not gonna say hope, but but I am I'm completely trusting because Keanu Reeves has a, a comic uh, book series called the Berserker, mm -hmm. uh, and they're gonna make it into a movie, uh, and it's very violent. It's like it's almost the same as John Wick, but it's like uh, through uh, I think it's through through times like like mm. you know this it, it's picks up multiple uh, uh times uh and it's it's so good so good watch john wick it's it's honestly it's excellent uh on on every level uh and i i just can't wait to watch it again there is one particular scene 
uh, at, well, almost at the end, uh, where they film the whole thing. They are in the building, and that's where John Wick is fighting people, and they are filmed it from above. Mm. It's like, ah, <laughs> so good. <laughs> like, just so beautifully done. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think that's all I watched in the cinema. I didn't watch any TV shows other than, you know, my baby. My Mandalorian is back and mm-hmm. Grogu and I love them and it's so good. We will so have to good. go and poke Elliot again. Oh, once we're yeah. Done. Elliot, be prepared. We're coming for you. <laughs> it's almost time. I'm so sad because it's eight episodes and we're, we're nearly at the end already. It's just like, <sighs> uh, but yeah, that's back. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, obviously, The Last of Us finished. Mm-hmm. Uh so yeah, I, I I I'm still not back on my TV watching habits just yet. I think this is the most I have been watching like things that have been coming out week to week in years. Mm. <laughs> like I yeah. sit down on Wednesdays and I'm like, I've got I've got Ted Lasso to watch and I've got the Man's Laureate. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You know, it's like I I think I'm getting there nice and slow, but I I've been you know. I, I've putting away reading a little bit. So I'm now, this year, I am trying to read all the books that I'm reading <laughs> on, on my other side. Uh, so finally, you already know, I, I read Six of Crows already and mm-hmm. uh, I am reading uh, Crooked King- Kingdom now. So on it, it's uh, a work in progress. Yeah, this is my um, uh, plea to people. Even if you're not really that enjoying it, I would like you to finish watching Shadow and Bone season two because I want the Six of Crows spin-off. Yes. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> yes. That's that's the message. Um I really want the spin-off. <laughs> uh to be fair, same. Uh and once I finish it, I watched two episodes, I'm not gonna lie. I am really struggling with it. Uh but once I finish it, it should come. Uh, I would soon. recommend finishing it before you finish the show. You mean the book? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's what I was thinking as well. Uh, but uh, once I finish the book, uh, and I get through uh the series, uh, I mean season two, uh, basically, uh, which sh- I'm sure we're gonna mention it to some level. Mm. Uh, but I'm already like, I I told you this, mm. they shouldn't have put the crows. No, um, I think we Shadow both knew this from from the off. Um, uh. And and you, I think you're you're it's it's grating on you a lot more. Yeah, than it is me because I've 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 taken the position to just be like, fuck it, the shit that was in there was really good though. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I it hit me now with with season two. Season one was is still like it's not. We didn't know then. Yeah, but but now I'm like, oh. it is bonkers <laughs> to me that they decided to do that. But it's fine. Like, but that's that's my entire reaction to the whole season is like, why? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I got it. I got the ending spoiled of for myself. Like uh, the, the okay the 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 season two. Yeah, I don't know if it's the end or 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 what. But if, I... if if it's what I'm thinking of, it's probably yeah. It's it's when when Ben well, it's... Ben di- dies. Oh, okay, or, that's I not don't... the end of the episode. Okay, that's not the end. But yeah. they are basically making they, them they, watch they, the they the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I then have they, been, have to... they. I have been enjoying those little videos that they've been putting out of yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody reactions and stuff. It's very fun. Yeah, and I I came across it on on TikTok, and I was like, what? what is this? Yeah, they they <laughs> managed to somehow fold both um siege and storm and ruin and rising into one season wow. yeah so they go they went really quick the pacing is all over the place <laughs> but why would they do that i don't know but um you haven't read king of scars or rule of wolves um, no but they are here yeah so. i will put it this way story's not over yet that's all I'll say. Because I also saw uh, them reacting to like a scene where Alina is all dressed up. Yeah, in... that's not in the book. That's entirely new, <laughs> right? Because I was like, yeah, they've I... changed. They did. They they have made a massive change. Um, 
uh, in terms of uh, Alina and Mal's ending uh, specifically. They um, changed it? They changed it. Is he dead? Huh? Is he dead? Who? Mal? No. Yeah. <laughs> Mal's not dead. What? <laughs> yeah. You did the thing. Finish reading Cricket Kingdom and then go to the thing and then we can talk about how absolutely baffling this part of the way that they put the season together is. And we watched, uh, obviously, the thing that we should be talking about. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I went on a tangent, so it's fine. I was more apologizing to the audience, but I apologize oh. to you as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, says, Who gives a shit about those people? So we also watched Dungeons & Dragons uh, on our own teams. Which is, I, a quick review. Very quick. Fucking great. <laughs> it truly is fucking great. What is that again? It's an owl bear. I'm a so happy so happy uh what, what are your like all together thoughts what are my all together thoughts i just, just i just had lots of fun with it there's so many bits in it that i just like like oh you know when you watch something and it's like oh that was funny but you don't actually laugh that much yeah genuine like like big laughter that came out of me at multiple points one of them just being one of the stupidest things when uh during i think we both agreed that whole sequence where they were going through speak with dead <laughs> incredible just that one guy who who got out of the bath and slipped on some mud and smacked oh his my head. god that crying was... <laughs> <laughs> amazing how you can take such a stupid gag and still go actually that's really funny. <laughs> did that count as a question yes damn it only answer when I talk to you, okay? Yes. Why did you say okay at the end of that? I didn't. I was crying at some point from the laughter, obviously. Yeah. I was like, oh, God, stop it. <laughs> just it's like some stuff that is just it, it was so funny. And it, I think it did such a good job of having this like just deep feeling of this is what a campaign feels like when you're in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a lot of people sometimes doing kind of stupid shit. I love the whole sequence. I'm going to go into the specifics now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers and go, all that jazz. Um, I love that whole bit at the beginning where he's like, you know, pleading his case and they actually agree to let him go, but they still go ahead with the escape plan because that's yes. what it's like because oh. you just don't read the situation properly and they're just like, what? We, we were going to let you go and then yeah. you've already <laughs> jumped out the window with an Aracocra. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny as well. <laughs> We're gonna let you go home. We. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> that's just how it. That's just how it is. Sometimes you break out of jail, and it turns out that we're gonna let you go anyway. And now you're wanted again. Yeah, I. I Whoops. really. Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, I. I really just love the because you know there's always a lot of argument around you know how do you do good exposition mm. because you know. Mm. It's needed. It, uh, you, sometimes you do need exposition, and a lot of people yeah. don't do it very well. Yes, but I, I think they're fucking there. Then. Yeah, like, this is a it was a really good example of it. <laughs> I, I didn't have any problem with it. It was like you know, it was still like exposition, but it was like it was so well done and so funnily done as well fun, that I was yeah. like, yeah, works perfect, perfect. love it. Yeah. But with everyone, because there's like two or three different. Uh, expositions in this movie mm. and it was it was all like hey yeah makes sense like this is how you do it you don't have to like have people standing around then just explaining shit you can do it in like a... <laughs> here is how the world works i think i actually what i really liked as well because i don't know the forgotten realms very well uh, it's not yeah. my um obviously my my main um mm. world that i know about is the exander yeah. and, yeah. um, and a little bit of everyone Yes, because yes. We, we played a little bit in Eberron. We, we did. Um, uh, and, but I don't know the Forgotten Realms really at all. So like a lot of that stuff was new to me. And mm. I felt like they did a very good job of not spelling everything out for you and just sort of letting the world exist around them, which is mm. kind of how it should be in a lot of places. They, yeah. I, I, I appreciate, I, I, I did find it fun that they were like naming spells because I was sitting there trying to figure out what they were as I was looking at them. They didn't name everything, but there was a couple of them. A Daisy Head proving, as we all know, and I will send you this so that you could put it in here. Quote, my good best pal, Liam O'Brien. What's sexier than wizards? Nothing. That's, yeah, that's true. That is very true. Daisy, Daisy was great uh, in, in the role. She was also uh, one of the highlights of Shadow and Moon season two, by the way. When I mean, you get more of her, she's fucking excellent. <laughs> I honestly just loved everyone. Like, ev like the whole thing was, 
the casting was so good uh, on it. Like I never in a million years would have thought that I'm going to watch uh, Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez and freaking Hugh Grant do a Dungeons and Dragons movie. And here we are. And they work so well. Uh, I love Hugh Grant. <laughs> yeah, uh, just like no morals, <laughs> terrible human being. <laughs> but like, still, it was it was in one of the trailers, so it wasn't a surprise. But it still made me laugh so hard when when he's like, "Oh, I can't watch you that. I can't so watch I'm gonna, you. I'm, I'm, so I'm gonna, going to leave the room. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the room." Which is why I'm gonna leave the room. Bye. <laughs> you know what else I really appreciated about it? So much of it was practical. Like yes. so much of the yes. stuff that you could see, you could see it was practical. The fish yes. head, practical. Love yes. that. I don't know yes. if you saw there was an interview with um Reggae, who where mm-hmm. he was talking about he nearly lost his um hand to that fish because I think he tried to eat him at one point. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, talking to the dead corpses, that's all practical as well. Yeah, that was also really good. I love that. I I, I love that. Uh uh a lot of the the creatures and everything was was practical other than the dragons basically yeah if i'm correct i i think i'm correct that yeah i would say that's correct th- th- that that they they were obviously cgi uh for everything else and it it just works so well i was like mm-hmm. yeah uh who was your favorite i have to ask who was my fa- oh god i mean i'm a sucker for chris pine generally speaking fair so I, I, do, I do feel like he may have been up there as my favorite, but I, I think um, our friend Simon here uh, yes. uh, also was very much up there for me. Um, I love Justice Smith. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I also just like the idea of a, of a sorcerer who's just sort of a bit shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely fun because I, I, it, it felt like watching myself playing with you guys for the first time. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Lily loves casting banishment. It's her favorite yes! thing. I love it so much. Look, yeah, and do you know what? It has got us out of a lot of sticky situations. It worked. Okay. So yeah. I'm like, yep, yeah, this is my favorite one. <laughs> I'm going to use this whenever I can. <laughs> I got to say, I think one of my favorite parts of the movie, and I'll ask you this for your bit in, 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 as well in a second. Yes. But there's that bit near the at the end where they're having the fight with. Um, Daisy had the red wizard. I don't actually remember her name. Sophia. Sophia. Yeah, Sophia. Um, there's a there was like a like a kind of long shot with kind of what going around them, and it was like watching like an actual bit of D and D combat. It oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was like fully opposite, and they're going like, "This is actually what D and D combat would look like if you played it out properly." Because D and D combat every round is six seconds, roughly. Yeah. And so, like, you're going through it, and it takes a really long time to get through it. Mm-hmm. But when you play it all together, that is what it would look like. And I actually sat there and went, whoa. <laughs> Just, like, yeah. watching her, like, counterspell, misty stepping places. I was like, this is cool as hell. <laughs> it genuinely yeah. took my breath away a little bit. Because a lot of it was just sort of like, well, this is very fun. That bit, I was genuinely like, that that was sick. That was genuinely sick. <laughs> it, it, it was really well done. I mean, you can tell that. Uh, the filmmakers and and the creators behind it just love the Andy, mm-hmm. like just genuinely, you know they probably play as well. Uh, I haven't watched too many interviews, so I'm just guessing I read right now. An interview with Polygon where they basically yeah. said that it had been a really long time, but they played a lot as like young people. Um, I was sitting there in, during that sequence um, where you follow um, this lady. Y- yes, name. I also yes. can't remember. I know it's Sophia Ellis, but I don't remember her character's name. Um, you know what I mean? The yeah, druid, yeah. Um, the druid, and yeah. she's um, she's sh- she's shape changing just a lot. And I was sitting there going like, "You can't shape change <laughs> like wild shape doesn't. You can only do it twice a day." And then I was like, "Do you know what? I really should let this go. It's not actually a game of danger." Yeah, yeah. There was I mean, a they... couple of bits of like that where it was like, "That's not how that spell works." But yeah, fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Like, like watching him play cast speak with dead that many times, I was like. I guess yeah, spell but... slots are not really a thing. Yeah. I, I think, you know, in a movie point of view, it works better. Mm-hmm. So, oh, sure. and, and they did, did pay like a lot of homage to the whole campaign style. So I was, I wasn't. Not much of it, yeah. I wasn't like. Yeah, uh, it was a bit of thing of like the pedantic part of my brain, which is very loud and uh, constant. Uh, we'll sit in the ground like, that's not how that works. And I had to be like, shh. <laughs> 
shut up. <laughs> you shush. <laughs> it's uh, fun. Rule of cool applies. Yeah. And I just, you know, I just genuinely, my favorite character is Holga, by the way. Figure it out over a drink. Probably best. Understandable. Barbarians are sick. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I love, I love <laughs> when they went to see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big spoiler time. Bradley Cooper's in this movie. <laughs> It's a halfling. Uh, it's half the size of of uh, Michelle Rodriguez, so it's like, and he has a type. <laughs> yes, it was it was so funny. And then they, you know, do a callback at the end when they obviously get like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what they got from from the Lord, uh, but there's a halfling who's giving them these champion thingies. It was like a, 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 an accom- no, accommodation. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's just a, it was an award, basically. It was, like, yeah, yeah. Um, and 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 she literally went like, yeah. <laughs> they both like, have a type, and you know what? Fair, good, good for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was just so fun. I loved how she was obsessed with potatoes. <laughs> and then constantly. I, that one bit in the exposition at the beginning where you know she's already uh in there helping them and and chris pine is going for that last potato and and she just looks up like what are you doing (laughs) put it back (laughs) and i was like i feel you girl i love potatoes as well (laughs) and she's right she's great she's right okay She's great, and she's a badass, and she's great, and I love her so much. Barbarians are sick. Yes, it was so much fun, uh, the whole thing. I love that the villain of the story Mm. uh, wasn't just, you know, boring and lazy writing. It was actually like, because in a way, obviously, Hugh Grant's character is is a villain as well in this. But it's an antagonist. It's an antagonist. Yeah, yeah, and then and then obviously uh, Daisy has characters. Oh, the villain, let's put it that way. But in a way, Chris Pine kind of fucks up as well. Yeah. So he's he's like his own enemy in a way. Like you know, I just I just loved how they built up that whole thing. Like it, I thought they did that really really nicely. Yeah. yeah. I I really I just really enjoyed this movie. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm I'm already thinking about when when I can watch it next. Yeah, um, I I'm not gonna be able to go um, unless I like carve out some time on Monday or mm. Tuesday. But I need to be packing. So. Yeah, that's that's true. You're going on your own little adventure. I'm going on my little adventure. I'm yes. going on an adventure. Yay! Wrong movie. Who gives a shit? Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I just genuinely had a good time it's not like really yeah i mean i guess the only thing that i and it's not it's barely even the thing it's more of yes. just like uh me who likes to write things and then sort of go Meh, that kind of vibe mm. the bit mm. where he reunites with his daughter and she he, he's like explaining himself and then she goes it sounds like you're making it sound like it's not your fault i was like i'm not getting that that's not what i'm hearing here yeah that I don't bit... think that I don't think that hit particularly well. But like in a movie full of like so much stuff, it's like the only thing I was like, I I I however did like the fact that you know they finally are not doing the same old trick where it's like you know it's a misunderstanding or uh, someone stalking Shin, Hugh Grant's character, uh, to the daughter, and they don't have a chance to explain themselves. Mm-hmm. They do. Uh, explain themselves and it's not in centering like oh okay yeah that solved the problem uh, I, I I like that because you know sometimes I think that's way more interesting that's yeah. actually a thing that you have to get past because at that point she's so like she's been living with this guy for what a year two years, two, two years. Two. Um, uh, and and she, she's had him in this yeah, in his, yeah. the, the, her exactly. the entire time so when he turns up and he's like hey no I was doing this for you she goes well, no, that's not true because I was this guy told yeah. me and he's been looking after me. So why would I trust you? You left. Like that's that's how you do that. <laughs> exactly because I I hate when the conflict comes from uh, the other person. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. I I think that's such a tired trope. Yeah, and I was I was so happy that they actually did tell her like you know this is how it happened and this is what went down, but 
Hugh Grant's character has been whispering things. So I, obviously she's not going to be like, oh, yeah, dad, thank you. Uh, yeah, I understand everything. I forgive you. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Also, I like that. Funnily enough, I, I don't know what her name is, um, but she was also in something else we watched recently. Oh, the, oh, the girl? Yeah. Um, I will check it. In one second. No, I had it. I had it right in my head. For some reason, I thought it was it. It wasn't. It wasn't sixty five because that was the girl that was in Love and Monsters. Yes, but she was in something else that we watched. But I think we both watched really recently. It's Chloe Coleman. No, she was in sixty five. She was the daughter. Oh, she was the daughter. Yeah, she was the daughter. You're correct. I'm going to tell you something funny because okay. it was you who pointed it out. Uh-huh. I remember when the first trailer came out for this movie, and this yes. We're back on Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, yes, yes. So yes I was we, we I'm checking. I'm, we, we I'm with you in the conversation. Let's keep going. <laughs> and uh, it's it's on the podcast. So this was an actual conversation we had on the podcast. And, and you said, but I didn't react. I just, you know, I was just thinking to myself. You said that, you know, because the girl from It is in it. And I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I I didn't recognize her. Yeah, it's her. I I was like, uh, you know, you you said that the girl from it is in it, and then you didn't say her name. I, and I, was I like, remembered it at the time. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, which girl from it? Like Jessica Chastain, but that I would have. Pat you know. Lynn, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? And then we finished recording. I didn't say your words to you then either. And then I literally went on IMDb and I was like, what girl from, from it? I was so confused. And then Sophia Lillis. And I was like, that's the same girl? <laughs> what the <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> She's got more hair now. <laughs> I, but it's not just that. I, it came out in 2017. Mm. That's, that's true. six years ago. Oh, that's true. Almost six hell. years ago. I was like, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Strange <laughs> the passing of time. I hate it. I hate it. I I literally. If you wouldn't have told me that, I don't think you I would have done it. I, no. I, I was... would say also one yes. other thing that maybe I find a bit disappointing, but it's like not the end of the world. Yes, is the fact that yes, she's a tiefling, but like tieflings can be fun colors. You know, they can be like blue and purple and red. Mm. And I think that would have been fun. But I under- oh. also understand why they wouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it would be fair. nice to see other tieflings in the world who are strange colours. I once came up with a tiefling uh, in a um, uh, a murder mystery that we were doing. Um, and the whole joke was basically that she was re- Reverend Green. So she was green and her name was um, Viridi, which is mm. green in Latin. And oh! Punk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, what rating would you give to the movie? Oh, I, it, probably a solid like nine out of ten. Same. I think. Yeah, I'm not saying that there's anything like outwardly wrong with it. I don't know. It, it just doesn't fit. It's it's like a ten movie would be. Mm. but it's so much fun it, it is, is so much fun it truly is I would give it a 9 as well uh, and I really hope that it becomes successful enough mm-hmm. that we will see them more I kind of hope that if they do more movies that they don't like make it a direct sequel I because there's so many worlds mm. um, and they've they've spoken about this in interviews and stuff I yeah. think it would be really interesting if they went and like did like same cast different characters Oh, yeah. Ah, that's not a bad idea. I actually like that idea. But also, I, I, I think everyone was just really lovable. Yeah. Like, in my personal opinion, I, I just really like the characters. I love the characters uh, too. So I'm like, you know, I would be happy to see them again. I would. I, I yeah, no, be... that's very fair. I would also be happy to see them again. I just, I, you know, on a on a, like an interesting level. I, I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. No, no, no. I'm with you on that as well. Or they, they could leave it a couple of years so that um, uh, his daughter, whose name I can't remember. Kira. Um, Kira. That's right. Yeah. Kira uh, could be a part of like shenanigans. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Heroes of the Realm kind of thing. Yeah. Be a lot of fun. You know who I who I want in the cast? 
Mm. Ever since I found this out, I, I, I just love him even more. I want Vin Diesel. <laughs> do, you, do you have his Dungeons and Dragons moment? Because he loves Dungeons and Dragons. And when I found this out, it's, I was like... Honestly, Don, to be honest with you, it's frankly shocking that Joe Manganiello is not in this movie. Because he is the Hollywood D&D guy. You know? That, that That's like his whole thing. <laughs> his whole thing but he's a very big part of like his thing. That's true. Ah, yeah. He, he's oh, there... the one with the D&D basement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not go. kidding. You should find. I, I will. I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll send you some. I'll, I'll find some pictures. Yes. Um. I want to see that pictures. Um. There's pictures that he's got. Like he's fully like redid this whole basement to be like big table. There's like <gasps> dragon heads on the walls and stuff. It's very yeah. cool. Oh, that does sound cool. I want to see it. Also, if you find pictures, I, I will. I will. I will send them to you. Um. Yes. Uh, also, just a quick shout out to um Sophia and Justice because they were shouting out Dimension Twenty in an interview and they were talking about how great Brandon Lee Mulligan is and I was like, yeah. you guys are fucking cool. Yeah, they <laughs> I are. I love the fact that okay, it's very funny seeing Erica Ishii being like, I-, I can't believe people know who we are. <laughs> of course. Wait, come on, come on. People in Hollywood have just like watched us do it. What? <laughs> There's a I don't you should find the the thing of um uh, um I'll try and find a link to it. Um, Chris Pine was on Jimmy Kimmel. Yes, and they did a bit where they were like, "Oh, there's a bunch of people on our staff that are like uh, dungeon masters. Here's three people from our staff. You have to guess which one's the dungeon master. One of them is Lou Wilson, who is very much one of the main cast members in Dimension Twenty, uh, oh, and one okay. of my favorite. Yeah. One of my favorite performers, actually. He's he's so funny. He's the announcer for Jimmy Kimmel now, and he okay. came out and um and they because they took the whole bit was that they were all dungeon masters and, and yeah. Lou does yeah. DM. He just hasn't done it for D- Dimension Twenty yet. I'm still waiting for it, but it will happen mm-hmm. one day. He's just a very busy man. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and he came out and he brought out Amathar's sword from uh, Karen Candy season and mm-hmm. gave it to Chris Pine. And Chris Pine knighted him, just like. <laughs> bonkers the strangest like things like, like what do you mean like celebrities are like this is this is dnd i appreciate that we're at this point as opposed to um at riverdale trying to bring back the satanic panic in season three of, of... <laughs> honestly the reason i stopped watching straight up <laughs> that's the reason you stopped watching that's just... the reason i stopped watching i stopped the, watching before, after season one <laughs> before that it was like camp and stupid this was just like why are you making out like nerds are stupid weird people and that D is a cult like yeah you do, and you're doing it with such like hey look at this guys this is equivalent to the people eating farm that is also going on in this season it's like what are you what i don't know river this thing for me but i watched the first season i was like all right i'm not watching anymore <laughs> and watching tiktok i'm so glad i stopped <laughs> my i honestly so i watched all the season two which was fucking bonkers uh and i started get, i got into season three and they, i just got like three episodes in and i was like i can't actually do this this genuinely makes me quite mad <laughs> but I'm not my- surprised what <laughs> one of my favorite things in the world is people explaining the plot of Riverdale to me because it's so fucking bonkers. I will yes. never get over the fact that Archie got mauled by a bear. That is just so funny to me. There are so many things in there. They they had like a meteor coming in and someone got superpowers. Oh, they've, got, they've all got superpowers now. And now they're back in the 50s. And yes. uh... <laughs> I swear to God, I want to be. In one of the writers' room for Riverdale. I'm pretty and sure I've... they will take drugs. I could I, I, I can imagine. I, I'm certain of it. I just want to see what the hell goes on in their head because I just can't imagine. Like what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, I, I literally because it always comes up for me on TikTok. It it always pops up, and it and and I I only watch it because I am just so genuinely surprised that. What it's is- so entertaining to read about. It's like it's one of the few shows that I'm like I I often refer to it as like basically absorb it, like taking it in by osmosis. I just yeah. read about it. I did it. Yeah. I, I did it with a bunch of things. I did it with Game of Thrones, to be honest with you, because it just it, it, the rhythm of it was not hitting with me. But I loved reading about it. I loved reading about the stuff that yeah. was going on in Game of Thrones. I just did not enjoy watching it. Mm. Um, I did it with nine one one um and nine one one uh Lone Star. Yes, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. that trends every week on Tumblr, and I like finding out what's going on with the gays, because um, that's the <laughs> only thing people talk about on Tumblr. 
<laughs> but it's just one of those ones when it trends, I will look at it because I love reading about it because it's stupid as hell. Yeah. I'm like, oh god. Oh, oh well. God. Hello. Oh, that was me. I uh hit my watch. <laughs> Say what was said. <laughs> That was my ringtone. So my watch has a feature where I can hit it and it will ring for me so I can figure out where it is. Oh. <laughs> I, just, like, I guess I hit it back. <laughs> there you go. The more you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. This is us uh, talking. I really can't do this. This is just scary. If I do this. <laughs> I, I have to lean back. It's We are recording now during the afternoon and it's very light here, as you can tell. Yeah, it's a I'm really just... nice day outside. It is. Talking. It is. It's like, what? It's uh, April. The weather came back. <laughs> uh, we will be back uh, shortly-ish. Honestly, yeah, that's a very good question. <laughs> it's Look, it's let's let's say that the Episodes schedule is very at some weird. Point. <laughs> yes, it's very weird. But we have some g- great guests yeah. uh, coming in. Uh, One so that was meant to be last that. month, but it all kind of fell apart, and now we've gone it, back again. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's mm-hmm. gonna be a good one. We're gonna have like a very big episode with some very cool episode. people. Very cool people. Very excited for it. Yes. Um, um, uh, and we're probably gonna do reviews and something along the line, but uh, we don't it, know it, yet. Episodes will come out. That's we'll, just they that's will. The, the, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just deal with us. It's gonna come. Uh, Check and... out our Twitter to keep up to date with this sort of thing because we do update our Twitter quite regularly. Yes, he likes to tweet random shit from our account as well. <laughs> I do. It's movie shit though. So it like, is yeah. movie shit, but it is also just sort of random pictures sometimes. It is, yeah. But I, like, you know, it's fun. Uh, so if you want to see <laughs> random see movie pictures, talking about, <laughs> then just I. I, it's just scary. I I can't move. I'm just yeah, going to be like. <laughs> uh, anyway, until we see you again, watch movies. Watch movies. We're going to keep doing this. Yay. <laughs> All right. Take care. Goodbye.